Hello everybody, this is Brad from Olivia. How's it going? Here's a new video on Tesla. Today we're gonna go over the overall count, starting from the daily chart, to kind of get a overview of what's happening on Tesla, and then we'll dig into the lower time frame to see what we could expect on the shorter term and near future. So let's dive in into this analysis. As you can see, basically what I'm expecting is a wave four of intermediate degree to pair up with this wave two, which ended with the Covid lows. So from there we can count one and two, up in three, triangle in four, and then up into wave five. And then, as you can see from the top in the beginning of January of 2021, we then had a move down, which eventually became, as you can probably tell yourself, kind of a sideways movement, and what could be a triangle, or as we'll analyze during this video, I will also have another alternate. This could be a flat into wave four of intermediate degree. So let's take a look at this scenario. Let's see what we could expect this wave four to be. So we're just gonna analyze for today the price chart, the price action from the January top into today's price. So to do that, we're gonna I'm gonna take you over the four hour chart first, and uh, I'm just gonna show you basically what could we expect in Tesla. So as you can see, basically, I can see three waves down to wave A, up in B, and then down again into wave C, and then again, A, B, C into wave D, and then I would expect wave E. So of course, you know that the subwaves of the triangle, which of course is labeled as A, B, C, D, and E, every, every wave actually has three, three subwaves. So as a matter of fact, the A, B, C, D, E, they're not called waves, in this type of pattern in the other way world, but they're just referred to legs. Now you, you, you may call them waves, that's you know your own choice, but if you want to be a uh, say a purist on L wave, they are called legs and not waves. And yet every leg has three subwaves. So wave C as you can see has three subwaves and not five as all usual. Not always, my apologies, because it's a triangle. So ABC, ABC, ABC. Now, the question is, this looks like a triangle into wave B, could have been wave four. Yes, I did have a count where this was, I'll just delete this and I'll show you. This was wave one and two, up in three, four and five. Of course, this was valid until we overlap wave one with wave four, so then of course, became no longer valid. And now I had to switch to this alternate. So how do we know I'm wrong? So if we do break north of $778, which is of course what is labeled as for now wave B of the triangle, then I'm wrong because of course wave D cannot go past wave B of the triangle. So let's see at some interesting fib relationship of A and C. We are very close to the 0.618, which is of course a very common target. Equality of C and A would of course invalidate the count. However, let's not discount that because now that I showed you this count, if I take you the, to the alternate in just a second, so if I do this, basically what we have is down in A, up in B and then down again into wave C because you may have noticed that possibly we can count this also has five, right? Of course, we need to fix the degree. I like to make it red. So this could be down in A, up in B, and then again, we can also count possibly five waves down into wave C as well. So that would be wave A at minor degree, and then wave B would of course has three subways, up in A, triangle in B, within wave B and then up again in C. And that of course could take us as a matter of fact to equality with A and C, which would be around 80, sorry, $800. And of course we know that A is a very strong number and large numbers attract large orders. So that is a possibility. That will mean that we are going to go a bit higher than expected with the previous count of a triangle, but then we should go back down to break this low and then somewhere around 450, you know, that area, we should see a reversal to the upside. 
Also, we know that we have the wave four of one extra degree around $400. And as we know that wave four in the other wave theory, a wave four tends to go near the wave four one less degree, which of course is this one. So we are in the right territory if, you know, if we move lower into wave C. If not, so if the triangle becomes the right count, then still it's a good one, no rule will be violated. But we know that either way are possible, either counts make sense, and we have confidence for both of them. So we should expect, well, at this time, really the best thing to do is wait because it would be too soon, too early to enter because we're already into dangerous area for buying zone. And also selling would be quite kind of crazy at this point because we don't know which alternate is going to be. So I would recommend to stay updated. To do so, then don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this count. If you have a better count, I'm always open to see alternates. I love you guys when you show me your counts and I'll see you in the next one.